previously on Terriers. You remember my daughter, Eleanor? She's in some kind of trouble. You and my dad were always named Croc together. Detective, got a stiff down at the docks, likely OD. I keep telling you Mickey was murdered. I found a box to a pregnancy test in the trash the other day. Can you believe I'm about to be a father? I don't know who the father is. Oh, Jesus, Katie. Why did you do it? I don't know. I don't do? know. Are you going to school with Katie Nichols? Yeah. <laughs> Guess he thought you were stepping out with me. I'm so sorry. Well, it's a good thing you broke up with him because he's going away for a while. You deny there's a land grab going on in Old Town Ocean Beach? I noticed a blueprint seemed out of place. This is Ocean Beach. I want to pave over Ocean Beach and put in an airport. Going to Sam's liquor. Laura, I can't. Laura! Hey! <laughs> we'll find who did this, I promise. <laughs> Doing some target practice? Well, I'm gonna be surfing that break out there. So if you could just keep that baby south of the curl. No worries, man. You're not the dude I wanna kill. Cool. You sure I can't drop you at the club? No, I'm not kidding. I remember we had dinner Why are we being so quiet? Now checking your weather. Hey, any luck finding Laura? No. How's it going here? Well, we already found six bugs, so three in the living room alone. This is how they got to the liquor store, Hank. They're listening. They knew where Jason and Laura were going before we did. Well, maybe we should get them to sweep the truck. Found this in the truck? Find the uh, AM, FM. You guys ever listen to 91.6? We don't listen to classical. You should. You got a bug nearby. That uh, frequency will let you know. Can you hear that slight distortion in the violas? Oh, you're strapped. Yeah. Just in case. Do I get one? No, because you're on bail. You have a hearing in an hour and you don't want one. Okay, you guys are all clear. Or at least as close to all clear as I can figure. I mean, we're good. But whoever did this is really good. So you can't be 100% they're not still listening? I mean, we could burn your house down. Then we'd be 100%. Or you can just keep listening to Vivaldi until you sell the place. Ah, we've been in worse situations. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but they're there. No, not like this. I said we cut bait. Hmm? And not like before. I mean, we cut bait, cut bait. We grab our fishing pole, we go down to San Felipe, and we throw away our fishing pole. San Felipe? Is it Mexico? We're dead if we stay in Ocean Beach. I figure our life expectancy is between that of a fly and a fly with a heart condition. Don't they have, like, extradition laws down there? I'd be skipping bail and the other thing. Fleeing justice. But I imagine you'd be so far down a wanted list, they'd never bother to try and pull you back. Bounty wouldn't even cover the cost of the flight. And you really think they're going to come gunning for us, Zeitlid and Kirk and whoever else shot at that liquor store? Hell yeah. We're the only two guys standing between them and turning this town into a tarmac. Come on, get dressed. You got to go see the DA. Why? What's the point if I'm just going to flee the country anyway? Because he'll throw your ass in the can for failure to appear. Take a shower, deal with what you got to deal with, and I'll figure out how to get us to Mexico. If we do this, we're never coming back here again, are we? 
We'll be Mexicans for the rest of our lives. Or Costa Ricans, or Bahamians, or Canadians. I hate skiing. Well, then the hell with Canada. You know, we could just pop Zeitlin in the skull. Yeah, well, we'd definitely get killed in the process, too, so there's that. And I'll see you at the thing. Yeah. Take care of yourself, Brett. Picasso, you know Hitler was a painter. Yep, and Jesus Christ was a carpenter, but you don't hear me boasting about it. Yeah, I heard you got uh, benched. Bremer said it was SOP following Reynolds' arrest. If that pants shitting old man said it was because I needed a haircut, I would believe that too. He trying to push you out? Oh, he's not trying to groom me for captain. You hear about the uh, three dead over at Sam's Liquor last night? Yeah, it was a holdup gone wrong, huh? It was a hit, Mark. One of the Vicks was Gretchen's new husband. You know they picked up a couple suspects this morning. A couple of illegals. They couldn't sign confessions fast enough. Patsy's probably. Paid ones. There's a witness no one seems interested in finding, Laura Ross. The reporter friend? Mm-hmm. She was there? Yeah. Hmm. All right. Looks like my fence is going to get painted another day. Two years? Well, I can't do two years in prison, Maggie. Worst case scenario, a year's jail time. I can't do a year in prison, Maggie. I know what you're thinking. It crosses everyone's mind. Can I run? Where would I go? Is it worth it? Let me spell it out. They may lose track of you for a while, but they will not forget you. Got it? I got a report in 48 hours, right? That's the deal. You beat that kid to a pulp. I think it's a good deal. They want an airport, Mark. They want to put it right here. That's what this is about. They're turning OB into a giant sinkhole by hook or by crook. And when they're done, they're going to pave over all of this. They got Councilman Albrecht in their pocket. I don't know who else. That's why we have to find Laura Ross. She can help bring this thing down. She's out there somewhere, and she's in... All right, I'll put some of my guys on it. Keep it off the grid. Just in case of what you're saying is right. Thanks. Yeah. Where are you going? I got to go check up on Gretchen. And I'm uh, working some other angle. But I'll be in touch. Thank you for seeing me. You have... Sorry. I, um, I have something. If you want something to drink, I have... I miss you. I don't give a shit about anything that happened. I don't care anymore. I think if we just try, then we can put all this behind us. I thought maybe, um, we could... <sighs> we should move. Start over, you know? Uh, get out of OB and, and, and away from all this. What do you think? I saw Gavin. Where is he? He's messed up. I'm supposed to get um, the DNA results in the next day or two. I love you, Katie. That's all that. That's all that matters. I love you too. I can't trust someone who's capable of doing what you did.
Please don't come around here again. Did Jessica leave? Just have to get back to Doug and the kids. <clears throat> Bath and a couple friends from work. We're supposed to be here soon. Do you need anything? Everyone keeps asking me that. No. Nothing. Everyone keeps dropping off food. I'm not hungry. 17 casserole dishes. You talk to the police? They said they picked up the guys that didn't. They don't even speak English. They had to get a translator for their confession. I'll talk to Mark. Make sure they're the real guys. Why wouldn't they be? Look, I hate to do this to you, but uh, I need you to do me a favor. I just want you to hold on to this for me, just for a day. What is it? It's just a letter. Nothing important. I just need it in safe hands for a few hours. Okay? I'm so sorry, Gretch. Call me if you need anything. What was that? That's what everyone says when they leave. Call if you need anything. You didn't. Because you know you can. You can't spot a tail for shit. Go home, Mark. Come back in ten minutes, either way. Oh, so you can go and shoot the guy on the boat and the security can shoot you dead? Don't tempt me, Hank. He's behind this whole thing. You cut off the head, the body dies. Go find Laura Ross, like I told you. I did find her. She's still alive. She just posted a column online about an hour ago. You don't believe me? Yeah, I printed it. It's the Montague. It says exactly what you said. They faked the whole environmental threat there. Read the second paragraph. Your inconsistency is confirmed by an earth metals expert trained at MIT. Jesus, she's talking about Steph. She must have gone and seen my sister. I know you don't want to talk to me. You got that right. I got fired today. Thanks to you, probably. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. I need your help. Believe me, I would not have come here if it wasn't important. Okay. Come inside. Actually, your apartment might be bugged. You're kidding me. Zeitlin sent me to scope you out, right? That's a nice verb for it. Check myself. Hey, Hank. Isn't Christmas already, is it? Who are you? Mr. Lang thinks he's in the circus. Mrs. Cuffy doesn't know where she is. 
Mrs. Renson won't speak. Well, what is this guy's problem? He's the doctor. Steph, has a woman come by to see you? Any woman? No, her name's Laura. She's about 5'8", brown hair, green eyes. Kind of like that? Laura! Are you all right? No. I'm not dead. They came into the liquor store about two minutes after we got there. Mm -hmm. I had ducked into the ladies, and I heard shots. How'd you get here? Carefully. I checked myself in as a voluntary patient. Figured you'd read between the lines when I posted. You have a witness to a triple homicide. You have to get Can her. Can you let me be the cop, please? Well, did you see the shooters? Backs of heads. And there's something else. My source is bringing me this. I don't know what it means. It's a pamphlet from a children's hospital. Los Niños, Mexico. How's this? Okay, I think we're safe. I told you, I know nothing about Zeitlin's business. He's an excessively secretive man and extremely protective of his clients' identities. Yeah, but you must have seen something. Otherwise, why would he think that you're the leak? I don't know. The only time I ever had anything to do with Zeitlin's business was when I drove him to a meeting once, like six months ago. Where? The Marina District. He was meeting someone important because he was really keeping quiet about it. All I know is that Robert Lindis was in the meeting, too. Robert Lindis, a developer? You knew him? A little bit. I remember when Zeitlin got back in the car, he was furious at Lindis because he brought along some young female assistant, and apparently the client was furious about it, too. Did you see her? The assistant? Was she about 19 years old, have brown hair? And she was there at the meeting with, with Zeitlin, with Lindis, and with the client. Yes. Thank you. I thought you were suspended. Hey, not for long. Where's Bremer? Britt. Hank, you're never going to believe what I just found out. Guess you can ID the guy Zeitlin works for. Who? Henry Dalworth? You're under arrest on three counts of conspiracy to commit murder. What? Well, no. Wait, Captain, please. Read him his rights. Get him to hold it. Hey, hey, oh, oh, what the hell's going on? Hey, hey, wait a minute, okay? Captain, this woman can identify the shooters at the liquor store holdup last night. I was there. These two men? They confessed to the murder this morning. Also confessed that your friend here hired them to kill his ex-wife's husband. Oh, no. No. Get him to holding now. This is... Mark! Hey. Do something, all right? Maggie! What the hell is going on? Why did Hank get arrested? Whoa. You're live. Two guys confessed to shooting up Sam's liquor, and they're claiming that Hank paid them to do it. What? That's horseshit. It's horseshit that's sticking. Apparently, Hank has been stalking Jason for weeks. Yeah. Accusing him of being a child molester. Using his credit card. Hey, do you know anything about this? What else they got? Hank checked into the hotel where Gretchen and Jason were getting married the day they were getting married. Are these the guys who confessed right here? Yes. Are they the shooters? I don't know. These sons of bitches are lying, Mark. I don't know what the hell's going on, but Hank sure as shit didn't pay him. Look, in 20 minutes, Hank is going to go to the courthouse. He's going to be arraigned, and then he's going to go to city lockup with the shooters. Now, if they're on somebody's payroll, I'm not too sure that they're not hired to kill somebody else, too. This is what I'm saying. Are, are they letting Hank have any visitors? One. And he didn't ask for his lawyer. Talk to me, Hank. I didn't do it, Gretch. I didn't kill Jason. The police seem certain you did. You know me better than they do. What they say is true. You're delusional. I'm jealous. Self-destructive. You take every ounce of happiness in your life and wreck it. And you take the people you love with you. But you couldn't kill Jason.
why'd you give me your will this morning? I couldn't be sure something like this wouldn't happen. Fight this egg. Whoever's doing this to you, whoever killed Jason, fight them. Dollars. Time to go. So what's up? Robledo, you couldn't spring for two transports? Shut up, Hank. You guys speak English? Se van a matarme? Huh? Por qué están esperando? Mátame! Mátame ahorita! What do you say? I said if they're gonna kill me, why wait? Go ahead and do it. Three to base. We have a suspicious black SUV on our six. No plates. Tell me, Mr. Did you request assistance? Uh, negative dispatch. Taking evasive action. What are you talking about, Blado? I don't see him. Get out. It's gonna be you. How much are they paying you, Blado? Told you I had my guys on the force. Hey, but Blito, keep dispatch guessing as long as you can, all right? It's going to take a while to shake that SUV. How much are they paying you? Are you guys out of your minds? What's going to happen when I don't show up at county? Just get busted back down to traffic cops. <laughs> but you'll still be alive, all right? Adios, amigos. Enjoy prison, all right? Hey, 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 hey. Take a walk with me. Now, my guys can keep these shells moving around for three or four hours, no more. You get your name clear, mine to follow suit. There's your ride right there, okay? Go that way, I go this way. Where are we going? What's this? Tell her Gazi's current address in San Marcos. She didn't stay in Catalina. Would you? Ben Zetlin's client six months ago. The guy behind the guy pulled the strings on this thing. Well, there's the daughter of my friend who got... Yeah, uh, you were in jail a while. Frank caught me up. That girl who can expose a multi-billion dollar land grab lives here. It's actually upscale for her. How do you do, man? You live here? No. No, I just crashed her, like... We're looking for Eleanor Gosney. You seen her around? Who wants to know? Hey, it's you guys. Anyone want a beer? Yes, ma'am. That's right, you don't drink anymore. How about a joint? You look like you could use one. That's okay. Eleanor, look, uh... I don't know if you know this. But your father passed away. Yeah, I heard. He overdosed. Never took him for an H guy, but then... Sure, he never dreamed his daughter would one day live in the lap of luxury. <laughs> Nikki didn't OD. He was killed. Why? We don't know. Or we don't know exactly. Hey, Eleanor, do you remember going to a meeting with Robert Lindis about six months ago in the Marina District? Maybe. There would have been two other guys there. One of them was a lawyer. Kind of tall, bearded, bald on top. Sure. And the other guy was some rich dude dad used to know. Your dad knew him? Yeah, they were drinking buddies way back when, even before you and dad were. He used to go down to Rosarita, get Stinko to Mile. Do you remember his name? Would you maybe recognize a picture? Yeah, that's the guy right there. What else did your dad say about him? Just that he had something on the guy. And if he found out, he'd be in trouble. I told him he should try and make a buck off it. Is it? 
possible Mickey didn't get killed because of what we thought? Is it possible that could have been? Yeah, it's very possible. Did your dad say what that something was? Bet I know where he kept it, though. My dad had this uh, shitty old army jacket. Anything of value kept inside the lining. Probably got tossed when he died, though, right? Mickey, you still have all Mickey's stuff at the house, yeah? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'll call you as soon as we find out whatever it is. Yeah, I promise. I gotta go. Laura pissed you left her with Eleanor? Bit. Good. Looks like Gustafson could only hold him off so long. Must be an APB out of him. Did you say there's a PB and J out on me? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to do? How do you feel about getting pulled over? Holy oh, shit. It's the guy's truck. This badge. You guys are looking for somebody else. Right after I pumped your friend full of heroin, I looked everywhere for that. What is it? Photographs. I was going to see of whom. This packer would pull a gun on me. Hand it to me. Listen, man, you don't want to do this. There's a cop out front. You're not going to fire in here. Holy shit. We gotta stop splitting up. Listen, Freddy, why don't you even hang back? Hang back. I'm gonna go for it. Make yourself something to eat. You answered Burke's text rather quickly. You two must be close. You're not gonna shoot me. Maybe. Maybe not. This is a work in progress. Where is Mr. Burke? Put it this way. You can take him off your payroll. Oh, you. 
So this is how this is going down. I'm going to ask you questions, and Britt here is going to punch you in the face every time you don't answer them. How the hell are you... Oh! He didn't ask you a question. You got to answer a question not to get hit. Understand? Question number one. Did you order the deaths of Jason Adler and Melody Ferris at Sam's Liquor two nights ago? No, of course not. You gotta answer the questions truthfully. But I didn't! Burke did that! He's the one that killed your friend. Burke took orders from you. Yes, but not just me. I give orders because I follow orders. Question number two. You plan on building an airport, right? Right where Ocean Beach is? Oh, what? God, I nodded! Yeah, that one's just on general principle. Question three. Who ordered the death of Mickey Gosney? I don't even know who that is. Who do you work for, Zylan? Pulls your strings, I want a name. Does he look anything? Like this? When Morgan was born, uh, he's about five hours old and Catherine came in and I thought it was gonna be great. She came into the hospital room, slapped him in the face with one hand, and took her crayon, stuck it into his neck with the other. We never thought they'd get along. And since then, they've been oh. bested. Holy Jesus, Ben, what happened to you? Oh, um, but, <laughs> excuse my language, everybody. Did you get into a car wreck or something? Um, you need to speak to these men. Am I stepping outside for a second? My lawyer seems to believe that I'd better. <laughs> uh, excuse me, everyone. Uh, and when lunch comes, please don't wait on me. And Catherine, don't need too many rolls, okay, sweetheart? Wow. You see on the way to Mexico from here. You could, if it were that way. So, why all the cloak and dagger, Ben? Excuse me, Mr. Cutshaw. Thanks for stepping out. I promise we won't take up too much of your time. Oh, well, I appreciate that. I have a four and seven-year-old engaged in Mortal Kombat inside, and my wife is away for the weekend. Oh, well, I'll get right to the point. That airport you're planning on building over Ocean Beach, we want you to stop. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Henry Dalworth. Mr. Dalworth? Shall we? Absolutely. Tom, I'll be right back, Ben. So, how did you know about the airport? By doing things I didn't really want to do. And I take it you two gentlemen gave Ben that face. Yeah, absolutely. He deserved it after what he did. But, Mr. Cutshaw, I'm sure you're not surprised you know which side of the street he works. I'm getting the feeling that you think that I'm aware of something that I am not. Doctor environmental reports regarding the Montague Resort, land grabs, political bribes, three people dead to keep your tarmac a secret. You can't be serious. You are either lying or spectacularly ignorant. I know I'm not the first. I would like to think that I'm not the second. You hired the man. If you're not complicit in his shit, you're certainly aware of what he's capable of. Mr. Dolworth, I'm not a developer by trade. I made my money in tech. But I do know this. If the water comes out when I turn on the tap, it doesn't happen magically. Or if there's gasoline when I stop at the pump. For the world to function, a thousand things have to go right every minute. And they have to go right quietly. That's why I hired Mr. Zeitlin. To make sure that these things happened quietly. So we 
could have a brand new airport. But if what you're saying is true, if Mr. Zeitlin broke the law... He had three people killed. Then I'll have him prosecuted for it. If this airport is such a great idea, why go to such lengths to keep it a secret? Why not ask the people if they want it? What if they said no? Oh, one other thing. I'm sorry, and I swear I'll let you back to your meal. We had a mutual friend, Mickey Gosney. He passed away, sadly, a few months back, but he left me something to give to you. Just a little memento from your uh, drinking days south of the border. I see why you'd build a children's hospital down there. I work very hard to be a decent man. But sometimes, something inside me works a little harder. You had Mickey killed to get that back, didn't you? What do you want for this? For starters, put your runway someplace else. You can hold on to that. There's plenty more here. KXOB News, a local man accused of masterminding last week's holdup of Sam's liquor was released yesterday as the confessed government implicated a different suspect. That man remains at large. Federal authorities today arrested San Diego attorney Benjamin Zeitlin in connection to new revelations surrounding the Montague environmental scandal. The Fed cited OBPB detective Mark Gustafson as being instrumental in breaking the case. In other police news, Captain Reginald Bremer has announced his retirement. Tomorrow's forecast is for clear skies with a high of 76 degrees. You're listening to KXOB, Ocean Beach, where constancy is the spice of life. Hello? Hank? Yeah, I'm back here. What are you doing? I'm cleaning. I can see that. Is it a leap year? No, I uh, find it gives me a psychological edge with potential buyers. You're not. But you love this place. Well, most of the things I love about it are gone, so uh, that's why I called you. Give you first crack at it if you want it. It's yours. I, uh, I can't. I can't live here again for the same reasons you can't. Maybe it's time we both moved on. You'll find a good owner, won't you? Someone who's, I don't know, hopeful. Like we were. Wow. I don't blame you if you're angry. You let him go. Kutch had your friend killed and it's walking away. The only person who could connect Cutshaw and Mickey's murder died in my kitchen the other night. So I took the best deal I could. I appreciate that. I just don't like to see somebody getting away with something. It's a good quality in a person. Now, you're remarkable in a funny way. Or funny in a remarkable way. I wish you would have told me that sooner, because I would have made a pass at you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it would have worked. Why not? I'm pretty high maintenance. So is my truck. We make it work. So you can live with it? Cutshaw, rich guy, just gets away with murder? My deal with him was that his airport went away and he got his pictures back. 
I never said I wouldn't come after him for something else. And I will. With both barrels. Nice shirt, is that new? No. No, I know, we got it together. Thank you for meeting me. I'm going to prison, Katie. For Gavin? Yeah. Gotta be there in about an hour. I deserve to go. I mean, I earned it. Um, also need to prove to you that I can take responsibility. Don't do it for me. I'm doing it for him. Or her, whichever way it goes. So I need you to do me a favor. You get the paternity test back in a couple days, yeah? And when you get it, I want you to throw it out. Don't even look at it. Tear it up, throw it away. I don't care what it says. You sure? When I get out, I want to be the baby's father. And I want to be with you. You know, if you'll take me. Don't give up on me yet. Pretty here. You ready? Step on our way. I want to make a good impression on my first day. You know what they say the best thing about prison is? Ladies drink free. Are you still gonna be driving this piece of shit when I get out? Yes, so. Unless it starts stalling on me again, and then I'll just have to shoot it. You gonna be okay without me? Can have anybody cut your food for you? You got no one to hide Easter eggs for. Yeah. Dude, you're gonna be miserable. You do realize you don't have to go. What? You don't have to go. I just take a left up here, hop on the freeway, down to Mexico. In a couple of hours, we're sitting on the beach in Baja having margaritas. Can order a margarita? I'll fall off the wagon. You do that for me? Yeah. And for another guy I know. Just live down there the rest of our lives. We'd have to sleep late. Take naps in the afternoon. We'd probably get used to that, though. I go straight. You go to prison. I take a left. It's all on Mexico. Answer to all our problems. Never get sick, you never get old. The vacation that never ends. So what do you say, partner? Which way will it be? Shadow wheels and I'll see you at the time. Pass for the second and the niggas got a bomb.